Former President Jimmy Carter's decision to go into hospice care is shining a light on what exactly that care is all about. And Providence Health is helping us understand what hospice care means and really offers. Fox Loves Connor McCarthy spoke to one hospice nurse at Providence Health and tells us that it's more than just preparing for a loved one to pass. It's a two-letter term that many people associate with the end of someone's life. But Amy Kama, a hospice nurse practitioner at Providence Health, says hospice care is more than preparing for the inevitable. The hospice team is a group of inter interdisciplinary professionals um, that really focus on holistic care. Amy says hospice care is offered to patients who are in the last six months of life or less. The goal is to provide a good quality of life, not only for the patient, but also for their families. When people are on service for rather days, when they're on service for weeks or months, um, we really see people benefiting in terms of their quality of life, in terms of their symptom management, um, physical symptoms that they may be having at that time when their illness is very severe. She says at Providence Health, their hospice program adds a spiritual component to their care and other complementary services to help a patient feel comfortable. There's also a foundation fund that can help step in and help relieve other life stressors. If a person on hospice is unable to pay rent, we may, foundation services have actually been able to help people pay for rent. According to the National Hospice and Palliative Care Organization's 2022 report, Oregon ranks sixth in the country for the number of people on Medicare using hospice as a form of care. Amy says Medicare and Medicaid both cover hospice services and most private insurance companies do too. But having that conversation about transitioning to hospice can be harder than finding the funds for the care. These are difficult conversations and it's always important to be curious and to just really listen and inquire how someone's feeling, what their fears are, what their hopes are. Amy has a personal connection to being a hospice nurse. She says her father passed away suddenly at an early age and there was never a sense of closure. So she wants to provide that feeling of closure and comfort to families through her work. End of life is oftentimes a sad time, but it's also a really sacred time and it's honorable to be able to spend time with people through their last days, weeks, or months, um, and seeing just the closure that patients and fa families have. In Northeast Portland, Connor McCarthy, Fox 12 Oregon.